Anthony Gobriel, Eric Pacheco ready to go. Gobriel at 59%. And the mids get the first one of the night. It's Gobriel on the ground ball for Navy right to left. He needs four more to tie Chris Piazza clock. Hewitt will try the long range shot down low, high to low. Stout makes the save. Now Tucker scored six in the regular season matchup between these two teams, and you no doubt they will have. Now with three, Minicus is five yards outside the box. And that'll be a shot clock violation against Loyola. Well, great defense, both early possessions for each squad, their first possession of the night. And one of the things we should note, Matthew. Here for the Greyhounds. Bounce shot and a goal. Evan James with a little innocent bounce shot from 13 yards away. It takes the big hop over Pat Ryan. And at 10.30 the first quarter, the Greyhounds on the board. They lead it 1-0. Well, Evan James last year in this building had four goals and one assist. Didn't do much in the first matchup between these two teams, but he catches Pat Ryan and lead. Now Ryan in the first matchup had 23 saves. That's all. Not a bad night. Evan James carries behind the goal against Rents, reverses field, comes back to the near side, shoots and scores. He planted the foot and came back this way. Evan James has two. Loyola leads by two at 9-17 of the first. Well, you mentioned the success in his area. And the Greyhounds with possession and a 2-0 lead. Well, I'll take you back to that game on April 7th, Pete, up in Baltimore. One of the things we said that night coming in was survive the first quarter. The last four losses for Navy against Loyola, they've been outscored 23-1. to And Stensrud. a couple of turnovers here. Yep, Stensrud picks it up in the middle of the field, but overshoots our lines as he goes behind the goal. He'll try the wrap around. Ryan shuts off the near side, has it in the cross. He'll turn. Now he'll head up the right. And that Pete, might be the highest ricochet I've ever seen off a shot there. That ball was coming from Swanson. Skalniak with one second, scores! Welcome back, 29. And he looks just fine. At 5-12 of the first quarter, Loyola 2 and Navy 1. That'll improve your EMO, getting that guy back on it. There's no doubt about that. Patrick Skalniak, his ninth goal this season, just steps into one, low to high. Loyola a little slow getting out there. And Skalniak he gets a run here in the first group. A couple of games right after the Skalniak injured, it was Hewitt that really stepped up offensively. Oh, Drakobly, great save, Stout on Tolker. Drakobly with a great cross crease pass to Tolker, but Stout again up to the task with his third. Plays it back to Drakobly now. Sam will dodge against the short stick. Lost it. Skalniak will catch it, though, with 20. Cross box pass for Hewitt. Max to his left hand. Fires the shot. Stout again makes the save right in front of his chin. And a Luke Stout that wound up with some good totals against Duke, Maryland, Hopkins has showed up early here. Razanka trying to get it to Sally, loses it. Ground ball comes up, Poitras. Yeah, big ground. He'll dodge against Fairbanks. Picked up by Rents on the pick. Poitras trying to plow his way through. Dislodged. Ooh, that came out of Ryan's stick and almost in a goal right next to that post here on the near side. Hewitt up top with five. Max trying to dodge to the middle of the box. Left-handed shot right into the stick of Stout. Top of the crease. Quick outlet. Near side. McGillicuddy on the move. 52 seconds remaining. Long range 15. Yarder and a goal. Will Sherwood, the short stick defensive midfielder out of Archbishop Spalding with a left-handed cannon with 46.2 to go in the first. And Loyola leads 3-1. Now the senior from Severna Park just up the road scores his first goal of the season and what a time to do it from 15 yards out. He puts some pace behind that one. And Loyola wide open near side, Bonnets finds him. John will touch it in. Cuts across the top of the restraining line. Down the right alleyway. Shot gets blocked in route. Ball is loose, comes up Loyola. Left to right with Matt Hughes. Hughes speeding down the field with a long pole. Fans out to his right. Plays it back to fellow long pole, Diego Roman. And they score again. And Joe, right now, it's the role players jumping up here, doing things to help this Loyola offense as they score again 
with Peyton Rosanka. Yeah, and almost the same exact shot that just beat Pat Ryan. Almost the same spot on the field from about 15 and almost the same spot lower corner against Ryan there. A heck of a job. He played well, came out, and looked great in this contest. And then you find yourself down by three goals to start this second quarter. Stout makes another save. That's the reason why they're up 4-1 is a Vivian shot off the Gobriel faceoff win. Stopped again by the Loyola keeper, his sixth save of this game already. Navy has outshot Loyola 15-8. Well, Stout had nine saves all together in the regular Loyola in Baltimore last year, beating Bucknell in the opening round. Off the stick of Kamish. It's going to stay in. Marked by Lacalzi. And Loyola will call the timeout. Second team, all Patriot League performer. Skalniak, right side for Navy. Oh, good swim. Good job by Wires to stay with him. They knock it out. Another great double team by Loyola. And finally, ground ball handled again in the defensive end by Alex Bean. It's a great double team. A couple times last Friday night in Bucknell, and it worked perfectly. Doesn't work here, though. Evan James comes in, tries to go low to low, and Pat Ryan squatting down, sitting down, making the save. Outlet pass, Skaliak near side. Biggest save of the night for Pat Ryan there. Great look for Evan. Down 4 1, 9 37 to go in the second. Inside the pass for Havivian, misses him and goes right to Stout in the crease. He starts to clear to his right. It must have passed too high there, a turnover. It's the mid sixth turnover of this contest. Mustang Sally across the box, has it dislodged on a nice play by Max Hewitt. Ground ball battle, trackably there for Navy. Heck of a play by Hewitt, not known for his defensive prowess, but makes a big stick check there. Skalniak ducks under, 13-yarder, stout with the leg. And that's going to be... That one looked like it ricocheted off the near post. Ryan might have got a piece of it as well, too. Houston to the right alleyway, marked by Norton. Short stick matchup here for the Greyhounds. Eight minutes to go in the second. 4-1 Loyola. Kamish. Back to Poitras. Tough angle. Load a high shot. What a blister from Minicus from the far side. Matthew Minicus makes it Loyola 5 in Navy 1. Now certainly an acute angle here from Minicus to shoot from above goal line extended. But he loads and he gets there. The Fairbanks commit. Got to run everything out tonight. Higgins behind the goal against Peters. Great shot coming from the top and a save made by Pat Ryan on the long range opportunity there by the Greyhounds. Here's Snyder with a long pole. At last, Shaq pedals to the line, gives it away to Kamish. Poitras against Bonnets. Jackson weaves through the traffic to stay with him. Up top for Higgins. Higgins to the middle of the box with the right hand. Down to 10 yards. Try to feed it in front for James. Oh, what a shot, Evan James. Highlight real goal there, 359. And the Greyhounds lead it by a count of six to one. Look, the angle and the mechanics to get this shot off are impressive. But what's even more impressive is the velocity in which he gets this shot off. I mean, Evan James, uh, it, he gets so much on this shot. Wow. Uh, he just, brilliant goal from Evan James. Here to go to the back line, time winding down here. 15 second difference, shot clock to game clock. That make it 13, we'll call it 13. James still walking with Peters to the far. Picked up by Rents on the switch. Good switch by Bonnets again to force him all the way outside the box. Seven yards, ball dropped by Kamish. Gets it back with 12. Higgins, three yards outside the box. Look inside, ball blocked as James tried to get one away. Hernandez somehow scooped that up. 70 inches of titanium and the goalie Pat Ryan to the middle of the field. Ooh. Bad pass, shot, score! Minicus picked up the loose change on the bad pass in the middle of the field. And another killer goal. Loyola scored two, Joe, in the last minute of the first quarter. And this, just a critical error, is the pass behind Rents. 
Minnick is there. Ryan trying to retreat to the goal, and he can't get there in time. Yeah, disastrous way. To, you got to flush that all the way, and you got to turn around here in the next 15. Here we go, start of the third quarter. Ground ball comes up Navy with Gallagher. Long pole freshman has been fantastic this year. Ryan starts at near side to Bonnets. You and Army, top two seeds in the tournament, met the finals a year ago. Crackably up top. Here's Hewitt. Haley. Stout with a save. Looks like that was going to be off frame outside to the left. And Rosanka has the outlet pass. No, really one of the few times. So much versatility in this Loyola 6v6. Lindsay pushed by Rents. Gets it away to Houston. 15 on the shot clock. Higgins played by Gallagher. Oh, beautiful look and a finish on the opposite side by Davis Lindsay. And it's 8 1 Loyola. That's as pretty a pass and finish as you'll see as the Greyhounds now lead by seven. Yeah, just wonderful execution. Down the left channel here, goal line extended. Hard to see exactly how Lindsay got. And it was a great save by Stout and no chance there for Ryan. Stendrud gets the ground ball off the faceoff. Scott into the box, down to 13, gives it to our line. He'll shoot and score. Our line over the top with a crank shot. At 11.38, for the first time since the first quarter, Navy has heard from offensively. Xavier makes it Loyola 8, Navy 2. Well, I think we both thought Friday night Stensrud brought a lot of emotion to the game up in Bucknell and really carried that forward here today with that play. Benny brings a pick. Poitras to the top. Back to Benny near side. Navy will threat, send a double. Minicus. Backside, crank shot, high to high. Loyola has the answer. Evan James up top, 9-2 Loyola, his fourth of the night. Yeah, and his third, fourth goal, four goal game against the mids, and Minicus quickly gets this to James, who's ready to shoot right away, steps into one. Again, mids a little bit slow getting out there. I think it was Hernandez. And James. Mids a break here, 30-second EMO. Mids broke that trout with a Skalniak. Extra man goal earlier. Our line behind the goal. He'll try for the dunk, and he's got it. Xavier, our line. Back to back goals for him for Navy. And at 641, it's Loyola 9 and Navy 3. Yeah, just reading the defensive huddle after that goal, maybe a little miscommunication by Loyola there. Somehow, our line slips wide open along the crease here. Nobody picks him up. Still nobody waiting to come to him. And then Xavier Arline says, I'll take that easy layup and put the one shot. Skalniak up top now with a minute 25 to go in the third, 9-4. The advantage for the visiting Greyhounds. Shots are 30-27, Loyola. Maybe 14-8 early in this game. Arline trying to lead Haley. Like he's throwing a Jade Numbarger on the football field. Missed connections. And Loyola collects the turnover. Yeah, just another just bad turnover there by the mids. That's a tough pass straight on. Ball knocked down here by Flaherty. Can the mids get it? Flaherty just ran over his man. Snyder long pull shot. Kick save stout. Snyder rebound. Still has it. Shoots it wide. Well, big save on that first shot. Gets it away. 17 seconds, Hewitt near side. Max, double team comes, gets it away to Haley. Haley inside, Toker! Great passing combination, maybe the best of the night, 6v6 for the mids. And with 9.3 seconds to go, Henry Tolker's on the board. It's Loyola 9 and Navy 5. Well, it looked like after that careless turnover, the Greyhounds were gonna get the ball and just kind of run the clock out and maybe get one good look. But great work to get the ball back. And this time, Haley is able to find Tolker inside. 40 on the shot clock. Our line up above goal line, one-hander, and it hits the right pipe and caroms back underneath of Stout. Here. 
James backside to an open Higgins. He fires and Ryan makes the save. Good save by Stout though to be ready for it. And this possession has been long for the mids. Got to get a goal out of this one. Skowniak. Haley on the crease again. And that's going to be a flag. Is it a goal? What do we got? We definitely have a flag. We got a crease. We got something. It's a goal. Loose ball push, or I should say push into the crease. So the goal is going to count. Just watching the mechanic from the officials. So Tolker gets the goal here on the crease. Now Tolker left open inside. Loyola, after really not having any miscues, it seemed like in the first 35 minutes of this contest. Away to Hewitt, quickly to Haley. Back to the middle, fires the shot. It got deflected in route. It changed directions, which kept Stout from getting it initially. And then he makes a great play behind the goal to get the ground ball for the Greyhounds. Well, not only that, too, he got a stick on that after that changeup, and that allowed him to get back and get that goal. That's a heck of a play by Stout. Scaldiac, Hewitt, Flaherty, Arline from behind the goal. X keeps possession. Finally gives it away to Skalniak, 10 on the shot clock. Skalniak got to do something, forces it inside. Flaherty, one-hander! Oh, my goodness! Are you kidding me? Another highlight film goal. One by Evan James for Loyola. That one by Jack Flaherty, a Sports Center top 10 candidate. He caught it one-handed. Shot clock winding down Joe Miller, and he's cut the lead to two. Yeah, 6'5", 213, big-time freshman here amongst two players tied up somehow. One hands this one. It was a sick finish by Jack Flaherty. Here's Skowniak behind the goal R line. Backside Flaherty. Marked by Roman. R line up above goal line. Shot clock at 15. Tough angle shot. Stout right there protecting the near side. And another save for Loyola is 17th. Now, I think for Loyola more than anything, you want to give your defense some time off here. For Evan James. James with four goals on seven shots tonight for Loyola. Rolls back here to the near side. Picked up by Rents, the short stick. He'll fire the shot, and he scores. Evan James has been the man of the match for the Loyola Greyhounds. His fifth stops the bleeding. Loyola 10 and Navy 7. Well, Evan James says, I don't want to take any time off the clock. I want to score goals. And it's a great move. It's a little burst there, a little stop and start. Near side, Dracobly. Backside pass over top of everybody. And it's going to go out of bounds to the Greyhounds. It's just amazing just how one goal changes the entire sort of mood of each sideline. Well, I mean, in the fourth quarter, Joe, here's how long. Maybe out with the 10-man ride. The shot goes wide. Lacalzi can't get it. Oh. Loyola does. It's James. He scores again. It's a half dozen for Evan James. Mids went 10-man ride. James collects the loose ball when it looked like Lacalzi had a chance to get it. And Loyola feeling much better about itself now. Exhale. If you're a Greyhounds fan, it's 11-7 Loyola. Evan James will be the man of finishing the season eight and eight. Mids looking to double Poitras. He's able to run away, avoids the trail check. Poitras scores. That was pretty easy there for Adam Poitras, the senior out of Whitby, Ontario, the Hill Academy. Beat the double team, got away from the trail check, and he puts it in for a 12-7 Loyola advantage. Up in Bethlehem, it's 10 for Lehigh over Lafayette. Seven goals away, and the resounding answer is that is yes, as Loyola will knock off Navy tonight in advance to the Patriot League semifinals as they win it here by a final count of 12 to seven. We invite you to stay with us. Coming up on the post-game show, we'll hear from Loyola head coach Charlie Toomey in a moment. This is the Navy Sports Network. <laughs> 